everyone and welcome to Sharpress Gaming and today we're back with some more Pokemon VGC 2017 ending out the year here since Worlds is done. Um, we finally have a new team. If you enjoyed the Jolteon Lapras team, I may bring it around again. I'm, I'm like I want to do streaming again, so I'll possibly I'll do some streams with that team. Streams with that team, but we have a new team and this is a very strange team. Um, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to work this team. I started off as just a straight Trick Room team, and then I scrapped it and wanted to do a Trick Room slash Tailwind. And then I found out you had to put a lot of speed into Rampardos to outspeed a Kartana, even with Tailwind. So then I went back to full Trick Room. Um, I remembered the first four Pokemon, and then the last two I forgot, so now there's two new ones. And so far they've been working. I've only tested a couple times. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um... I'm, I think I'm going to do a team builder for this, uh, which would come out tomorrow if I do. If not, then I'll just go into the team more in depth on Wednesday. But just you guys can see them on your screen. It's Rampardos, Oranguru, Hariyama, Celestila, Trevenant, and uh, blah, 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 Guzzlord. I went to my old crutch of Oranguru and Hariyama for this team. Um... And, yeah, I I mean, I just couldn't resist the possibility of Instruct Rampardos. So, we're going to hop right into this one. If I remember correctly, Arangru underspeeds, ev or outspeeds everything but the Trevenant, I think I want to say. But Trevenants are secondary trick rumors, so it doesn't really matter with that. And that's for Instruct things. We're going to have a 1379 rate player from Italy. As you can see, I did not rank up like I said I was going to. And we're going against another Trick Room team which also has that fast option, so um, they're probably going to go more Trick Room-esque. Got the Torkoal, the Oranguru, the Hariyama, the uh, um, Tapu Koko, Salamence, and Metagross. I want to go Trick Room just in case my opponent decides not to, so I'm going to go Hariyama and Oranguru. We're going to bring Rampardos for Shizzle. And then I could go Guzzlord, because Guzzlord eats Torkoal's eruption pretty nicely. It doesn't like the Tapu Koko, but if we're able to get Trick Room up, it should be able to deal with it. Because we have Sludge Bam. This team actually takes care of Tapus pretty well, especially, well, with the Rampardos, um, I'm not 100% on its fourth move right now. Right now I have Iron Head. I started with Flamethrower, and I'm like, well, Ice Beam gets Kartana, and that's what Flamethrower was for. Uh, and then Rock Slide does more to the Celestilas uh, than the Flamethrowers or Thunderbolts would be anyway, so... We're on Iron Head right now. If you guys have a suggestion for the fourth move, let me know. Otherwise, that's basically what we're going to do. We have the exact same lead, so who Trick Rooms who? Which Hariyama is faster? I'm just going to go into the Hariyama. I really, really don't care. I'm going to fake out the Hariyama and Psychic. The Hariyama. So my opponent really wants to set up Trick Room, go for it. My opponent might do the same thing I'm doing. My Hariyama does move first, though, so his Hariyama won't be able to fake anything out. It's eject button Hariyama? Okay. That's interesting. I have Flame Orb on mine. Uh, tip like, I switch kind of in between Flame Orb and Assault Vest. The only good... S uh, the only not good switch in is going to be the Metagross. Yep. Brings in the Metagross because I Psychic that slot. Orangru also goes for Psychic into my Hariyama. That hurt, because I don't have a Soul Vest, and my Psychic won't do anything to his Metagross. Flame Orb activates on the Hariyama. So my Hariyama should outspeed his Oranguru. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, my, Ara my Hariyama should underspeed everything. I'm going to switch in Guzzlord, and then I'll go for Trick Room here. I'm going to switch in Guzzlord because I'm expecting either a Zen Headbutt or a Psychic in the Hariyama, if not both. And then uh, I can set up Trick Room because Guzzlord should underspeed everything. Metagross is going to go for Meteor Mash, probably into my Oranguru. Yep, I should eat that. Yup, yup, yup. He gets the Attack Boost, which isn't great. We do see Life Orb from the Metagross. Oranguru goes for Psychic in the Guzzlord, and I can set up Trick Room. So now we're looking at RL Nas. I just don't know if his Oranguru is going to want to set up Trick Room. And my battery's going to die. Hmm. 
I just don't want the Metagross to get a hit off. I think it protects, though, and he reverses Trick Room. So I'm going to Dark Pulse the Oranguru, instruct the Guzzlord. And I'm going to plug in my 3DS. Oh, he didn't protect Metagross. That's bad. That's bad. And he has Citrus Bear. Gee whiz. This turn just went terribly. He was supposed to protect the Metagross because my Guzzlord under speeds. I wouldn't have been able to kill him. Okay. Um, because he already me he already Meteor Mashed, so his Oranguru gets to go first. Uh, he Meteor Mashes into my Oranguru, which will knock me out, unfortunately. I could have... Well, no, I couldn't have taunted because I didn't underspeed him. Or I didn't outspeed him. Under... Out... Under... Out... Speed. <laughs> <laughs> Meteor Mash, Guzzlord does avoid, which is perfect. Now this following turn, I'm just going to blast the uh, Metagross. I'll just blast the Metagross this turn here. And I can Rock Slide with the Rampardos. I can uh, Rock Slide with the Rampardos and Dark Pulse with the um, Guzzlord. And I'll take out Metagross. I don't think he protects here. Yep. He might not even have Protect. So there we go. Metagross is down. Guzzlord gets a plus one. Unfortunately, we do have to deal with a Hariyama still. <laughs> we have two Pokemon that are weak to Hariyama, so... I'm going to Rock Slide. I don't think this does enough. Just barely does enough. Oranguru tries to instruct, but nobody is there. And then Hariyama should come out here. Torkoal comes out here. That's very interesting. We're going to see Drought activate. Um, I might want to run out my own Trick Room. Nope, two turns. There's no way. There's no way. So, I could protect Guzzlord, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to Z-move the Torkoal with Devastating Drake, because that should be able to knock him out. And... Like, it's not... I don't think it's worth saving Rampardos. I'm going to protect Rampardos. Yeah. I'm going to protect Rampardos here. So we protect the Rampardos. Oranguru also goes for protect, so... Good thing I didn't waste my time attacking the Oranguru. Solar Beam from Torkoal into Rampardos. That was a perfect play. I was not expecting that. Um, I'll admit... I have had Torkoal Bloom do my Rampardo, so I should think about that. But this Devastating Drake's going to blast away the Torkoal. Uh, this is the last turn of Trick Room, so I can double protect on this turn. And then the following turn, I should be the fastest thing on the field. <laughs> that's such... <laughs> that's so devastating looking. And that'll destroy Torkoal at plus one special attack side. That's perfect. And then we get to plus two special attack. Because if I recall, we should outspeed the Oranguru. I mean, the Hariyama, it depends on how this Hariyama is made, too. If it's not min speed Hariyama, there is the possibility that we don't outspeed him. I'm going to check with my Hariyama just to be sure, though. Summary. We have uh, 49 speed... There, we have 43 with Guzzlord, so Guzzlord is actually going to outspeed this turn. I could actually just... well, Rampardos is the only one that doesn't. I mean, I just double into Hariyama here. I Draco Meteor the Hariyama, and I Iron Head the Hariyama. Because he can only fake out one Pokemon if that's what he wants to do. He's going to fake out onto the Guzzlord. Okay. I'll allow that. Rampardos will go for the Iron Head. Should do a nice amount of damage to the Hariyama. Oranguru's going to go for Psychic into the Rampardos. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Twisted Dimensions will now return to normal. So, Rampardos should outspeed the Hariyama. Guzzlord should underspeed. So I'm going to protect the Guzzlord this turn and Iron Head the Hariyama. Because the Hariyama has to be used to take out the Guzzlord, the Oranguru cannot, because it only has Psychic. So I think close... So he does outspeed. Yep, yep. That's why we did that, just in case he outsped me there. Psychic won't be able to knock out Rampardos. Unless he crits, which he doesn't. Gets a special defense drop this turn, which is perfect. Iron Head knocks out the Ariyama. 
So I'm glad I have Iron Head there, because Thunderbolt wouldn't be doing enough damage. And then, uh, like, Ice Beam and Flamethrower, he probably was... He might have been Thick Fat, so... And now Oranguru cannot knock out the Guzzlord. I'll protect Rampardos just to keep him alive, but I think he just forfeits. Nope, he's going to allow me to do it. Thank you. But yeah, he's going to try and knock out the Rampardos there. I think Rampardos off sped, so I could have just knocked him out. So, but I'll let Guzzlord get the last kill since he did so much work. That, I really like that these two stood side by side and won the game. Because they're like the bread and butter of this team, the two I really like. Guzzlord was a final, like a last minute edition, but I I chose him because you don't see him enough, and I think he's really good in Trick Room. So, I'm really happy those two got to round out the game. It was a lower rank player, but, I mean, they were, they were, they were doing the dirty. We just outplayed him. We just outplayed him. So, let's see if we can get another match here. That... Both of us trying to figure out... Cause, like, I don't think they were min-speed on all their Pokemon, because they were outspeeding a lot of mine. So That's what really was messing with me there. 1555 rated player Tyson VGC. Is it Tyson or Tyson? Tyson? I said the same word twice. <laughs> uh, Garchomp, Arcanine, Porygon 2, Araquanid, uh, Tapu Koko, and Kartana. This is a very mid-season team. Thunderbolt would be nice here for the Araquanid. And they can wide guard too, so that's the probs. So I definitely want Hariyama for the Porygon. I can go Hariyama, Oranguru, Rampardos for sure. I could go Celesteela to wall the Kartana, but is it worth it? Is that worth it? I think Guzzler is actually pretty worth because Celesteela is just not going to do anything. It'll, it'll be able to wall the Kartana, but won't be able to do anything after that. So I think we bring the same team. I don't like our matchup here. This is a very... I don't know if I said this already. It's a very mid-season team. I think I said that. I know I thought it to say it. <laughs> but I don't know if I said it or not. But yeah, it's very mid-season. Porygon 2 and Garchomp, we still see a lot. Tapu Koko as well, obviously. Kartana. Uh, it kind of has its moments. Celesteela and Kartana kind of switch... Uh, who is popular. Araquanid was really popular mid-season, though, and then it just kind of died off. So We're going to see Garchomp Tapu Koko lead for my opponent, though. Which is... Uh, that works. Uh, that works. Uh, because I can fake out the Tapu Koko. Because I don't want to get Dazzling Gleamed. And I can set up Trick Room. Because Garchomp, even with its Tectonic Rage, cannot knock out this Aranguru. As long as you don't frickin' flinch. There's a lot... Or, not flinch. Um, crit. There's a lot of those Pokemon It's like, I live a normal hit from him, as soon as they crit, I'm dead. Yep, he's going to go for the Z-move, the Tectonic Rage, my Aranguru should live this, because he was ev to He's ev to live knockoffs from Alolan Muk, uh, Tectonic Rages from Garchomp, and Flare Blitzes from Thick Club, Alolan Marowak. So, please, don't crit me. Do not crit, please. Come on, Aranguru. Yep. You just barely live. And that's how I like it. So, let me think here. He could protect the Tapu Koko. I'm not actually too worried about Tapu Koko right now. I'm going to instruct the Hariyama to close combat the Garchomp here. That should be fine. Because we get rid of Garchomp. I mean, I can get rid of either of these Pokemon, but I kind of think he protects Tapu Koko and goes for the um, Earthquake here. And that's just because I think he thinks I'm going to get try and get rid of Tapu Koko. He actually doesn't protect with either Pokemon. So I wonder what the Garchomp was going to try and do here. I mean, he's going to be gone. And he's going to Dazzling Gleam knock out both of my Pokemon, which allows me to switch in both of my Trick Room Sweepers at the same time. And it's just too hard to deal with, I think. I think it'll be too hard for him to deal with, because I can Sludge Bomb the Tapu Koko and Rock Slide. I mean, it depends on what Pokemon, obviously. But uh, Porygon 2 could be problematic, but I think Guzzlord would be able to wall out a Porygon 2. So, we'll see. Garchomp will faint here. And then after we get some... Plus, whatever. Yeah, I'm minus two. I'm I'm fainting here. Thea! <laughs> Critical hit on the Rangro. Didn't need it. I had, what, three HP? So. 
It kind of sucks we haven't been able to use Orangaru to with Rampardos yet, which was like the main point of this team. But Orangaru has been doing what it needs to do. There's still three turns of Trick Room here, so we should be able to uh, sweep out the rest of the team, hopefully. If not, hopefully at least keep these two alive long enough that uh, they'll have to decide who to knock out. It's going to be our K9, which doesn't help the Rampardo situation, but I mean, it should be fine. Because our K9 shouldn't be able to do anything to either of these Pokemon. It does get close combat, but I don't think I've seen an Arcanine run close combat this season, so. I'm going to Sludge Bomb, the Tapu Koko, and Rock Slide. Because I can. Sludge Bomb connects Tapu Koko. Is it going to be a KO? It is a KO, so Guzzlord's going to get the plus one special attack, which is what we need. We need that in case Porygon 2 showed up. And then Rock Slide connect. Yes. See how much this does at minus one. That's still a KO. Was that a crit? No. Rampardos is just too damn strong, kids. Don't mess with Rampardos. Alright, let's see what the final Pokemon is going to be for my opponent. It's going to be that Cartana, which... Fine by me, fine by me. Uh, I can just Dark Pulse with Guzzlord. And Ice Beam with Rampardos. And that should be GG, no re. Wow. We just we just absolutely demolished a fifteen fifty five rated player. I mean obviously it's not super high on the ladder, but it's higher than we are right now, so and this is a very unconventional team for sure. Really the only conventional thing is he's gonna protect it doesn't run out trick room, so I don't know why he does that. I mean just probably to see if I can hit him. But obviously I can. He might have been trying to see if Guzzlord is scarfed to I mean choiced in any way. Um because then he could focus on the Rampardos. And if I was strictly a physical Rampardos, then he could have dealt with me, but not the case. Storic Pulse, rail into the Kartana. It's going to be Focus Sash, but the Ice Beam will clean him up. <laughs> these two are monsters. I love these two. They're so great. Guys, if you love the pairing of Rampardos and Guzzlord, be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. I mean, share this team, guys. We want, we want people to know the power of uh, Rampardos and Guzzlord. Uh, I'll... Try to remember to leave a um, link for the post bin of this team down in the comment section below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Because um, we didn't get to see Celesteela and Trevenant yet. Celesteela and Trevenant. I actually got to use Trevenant quite a bit when I was practicing on the showdown, so hopefully on Wednesday we'll be able to see some Trevenant action. Um, and for sure, Celesteela. Celesteela is really there for Tapu Lele, so um, as soon as we start seeing those, Celesteela will be showing up for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, uh, leave a comment. I mean, Iron Head's been working with uh, Rampardo, so maybe I just leave Iron Head, I think. But anyways, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone.